Hey, what is up guys? Alex here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new to it. And uh, it's been a while since my last video upload. So here I am and uh, in today's video, I will be cleaning my MAF sensor on my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. So let me just run the usual intro and I'll see you on the other side. Wow, as you can see, my engine bay is quite filthy as I've been doing quite a bit of off-roading this summer and I haven't cleaned my engine bay. So as a result, this is what you get. This gives me more reason to clean my sensor. So let me just give this a little bit of wiping and uh, let's get to the uh, cleaning. Okay, so first thing is to remove the sensor itself and it's located after the air filter. And further down there is our throttle body and in order to remove this, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers as these uh, suckers here are a bit hard to take out. So all you got to do is press it and pull. And I'm also using a magnetic tray and I'm putting it directly below the sensor. So in the event that I drop these little screws. I don't need to be searching. So there's one and two. There you go. And you should just be able to pull it right out. It's actually quite dirty around the uh, housing here and there's a gasket and that's also dirty so we'll be cleaning that as well all right so let's get to that part so just very quickly here in a nutshell the maf sensor or the mass airflow sensor determines the mass airflow rate going into your engine and uh, a dirty sensor will uh, throw off the reading and essentially will feed inaccurate information to your ECU and uh, with incorrect information of course the ECU will incorrectly calculate the amount of fuel needed and you could be using more fuel than you actually need to so if you feel that your engine is hesitating this is a clear sign that your sensor is dirty so try cleaning it will make a, a difference for sure also it's recommended to clean your sensor every time you change your oil which I recently did after 16,000 kilometers so let's take a crack at it one thing that I need to mention and this is very important use a cleaning solution that is specifically made for cleaning mass airflow sensors using other cleaning products may have chemical ingredients that will be harmful to that sensor and obviously you don't want to damage that sensor so I'll be posting a link to this product and provide you that information on the description below. So check that out. So now that we have our MAF sensor out, all we got to do is give it a good spray with our MAF sensor cleaner. And uh, as you can see right here, here's our sensor. Don't touch it and uh, just spray away. let it sit there for a few minutes it dries up pretty quickly and uh, we're all done now everything is dry and it's time to put it back in its place and it's kind of hard to screw this one up as you can see the connector is right here and that should be facing up and there's also an arrow right there that shows where the airflow is which is going that way so just pop it right back in Put your screws back on and make sure it's uh, nice and snug uh, so um, it sits properly put the connector back and uh, that's pretty much it so that's pretty much it guys it's pretty simple to clean your maf sensor and the only thing that i'd like to reiterate is 
uh, make sure that you only use MAF cleaners uh, specifically uh, for this type of job and also when you're taking out those screws make sure that you're careful with that so you won't lose that. I guess until the next video and as you saw there my engine base is still uh, dirty so I guess my next video will be on cleaning the engine bay and uh, I hope to see you again so if you haven't subscribed to my channel I hope that you'd consider doing so and again to my subscribers thank you so much for following me as always and uh, until the next time but for now always remember if you can be anything you might as well be nice